Liquid or granular fertilizers? Which fertilizer should I choose anyway? I don't know the answer to these questions, but today I'm going to compare two different liquid fertilizers side by side. Alright, welcome to my lawn. I have some Bio 1266 and some Microgreen 002. Paid for these on my own accord, zero affiliation, and I'm going to apply these two. I was just going to apply them both in one get-go, but instead I'm going to kind of compare the two. Even though they're completely different products, I just want to kind of see what how they compare i don't know why not and I'll also do a uh, control spot with no product and i'll also do a spot with both products i think that sounds kind of interesting things are looking good right now by the way i mean they always look good in the springtime i mean you feel like you feel like you're coming in doing a like a hulk hogan entrance coming in in the springtime everything's green and man it's popping and then the poa hits the seeds, the green blades, and then you battle the poa, and then you lose. Anyway, let's put this down. To make nice crisp lines, I'm going to go ahead and get the old can jam delineator out because that works fantastic for making straight lines and the grass for control plots. I guess I'll give you a tour of my attic. In the meantime, Can Jam. If you guys haven't played Can Jam, made in America, fantastic game. There's a Can Jam Frisbee. This is the mix of both of these two. Gonna go ahead and pour that in there. Oh man. It's, ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have combined those. Yeah, yeah, shouldn't have combined those. That is lumpy grumpy. Oh man. Okay, lesson learned. Shake this up a little bit. The high rate for this is nine ounces per 1,000 square feet. So let's just round it up to 10 ounces. Since I get about 15,000, we'll call it 15 ounces. Make it nice and easy. Oh gosh, I hope this does not spill. All right, did not spill. Oh God, oh! <laughs> oh. oh. What? what, what, stop. Again, I have zero affiliation with any company for, for that matter. So all this stuff bought with my own money. 16 ounces, basically a full one of these cups here. Um, and we'll put it in here. Now I'm just doing this right now because I have a microphone on and I don't feel like cleaning everything up twice in a row. The microphone on twice in a row. So it's got, it's got like garlic. This be garlic in there. It's going. Lost my cover for my Ely reel. That's really disappointing because I didn't I put it up there by the AC condenser and a storm came and it blew it all away. The Ely hose connections right here. Uh, I don't have it to do with one hand, but oh man, look at that. Oh, maybe I can do it with one hand. Look at that. These hose guides are, oh, some water in there. These hose guides are amazing. Problem is, if you get some dense grass, you will lose the hose guide if you don't keep trimming the little grass around it. Kind of diluting it, less likely to clog this filter, which is seen better days. All right, so this is where I ended up putting the knockout plot where it's gonna be controlled with no product on it. On this side is the uh, the microgreen, and this side is going to be the bio stuff. And the hell strip number two over there is going to be the combination of both. About those application rates, I failed to consider that I'm only applying it on half the lawn. So, effectively did double the highest labeled application rate 
on both sides. We'll see how that turns out. Here I'm gonna break and you can see there's a line right there that it's already getting a lot darker. Hopefully it doesn't continue to get too dark and gray, worst case scenario, die out. We'll see, it's double rate, so who knows what could happen. Thanks for watching, see you later.